Hey, what's going on? Chad here, and I have another awesome feature for you. So for those of you guys that have been using the dashboard to send outbound emails, and this entire time you're like, man, I wish I could use my email instead of the generic info at dashboardnotifications.com email that we have. Well, today's your lucky day. We just released a brand new feature that is called custom email domain. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. It's pretty quick to set up and painless. So if you go into the branding tab and you scroll all the way down right here, you'll see a box custom email domain. What you're going to want to do is go ahead on this top right, click the edit button, and you're going to want to put in your domain name. Okay. Now I'm going to use a sample domain name that I have, which is dash bootcamp.com. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop that in there and I'm going to click add. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to give me three C name records. Now all I have to do is go into my uh, registrar, click on the DNS tab, click add record. I'm going to click C name record because that's what I need to add. C name record. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the host, drop it right in here where the host is. I am going to copy the value and drop that right in here click on save and you guessed it I'm gonna do that another two times so I'm just gonna add another record I'm gonna go and click C name go back in here copy drop that in here copy that now while I'm doing this basically what this is gonna do for you guys is this is gonna allow you to essentially really white label your outbound communication. This is also going to allow you to essentially let each one of your users on your account create white labeled emails. Now they're not real emails and I'll go through that in a second. Um, essentially what we're doing is we're, we're masking the SendGrid uh, domain and let me just drop this in here and I'll click save. Awesome. Now I've got all three records in here. One, uh, two and three boom right there already. I don't have to do anything else I just have to add three C name records. You don't have to change anything else on your end now Once you do that you want to go over here and it says pending right now go over here and click validate and then boom I'm gonna get a success uh, Little toast message and now my domain name is active so now what's going to happen is every one of your users, including yourself, if you just go to your profile, you'll see a tab all the way at the bottom that says custom emails. Now I can go ahead and click add and I'll say Chad and then I'll just select. Whoops, I got to refresh the page here. Make sure to refresh too. Boom, come down in here and there it is, my domain name. Chad, awesome, and I will click add, and there it is. So now you will see uh, Chad at dashbootcamp.com, my email set up. Now keep in mind, uh, this is not a physical email address, so if somebody responds back to this email, unless in like my registrar, like if you're using GoDaddy or, or Ionos or whatever your registrar is, unless you physically have that email with them, you're not gonna get any replies back here, and I'll explain that in a second. So now as an example, if I want to go into contacts, okay, and I'll do a quick little refresh here just to make sure. All right. Now let's say I want to go out and I want to actually send an email to a prospect. And this works throughout the entire dashboard, guys. So if you're building out uh, Insta sites or Insta reports or you're sending any automations, you can now use this email as the from email. So let's go ahead over here send a email and now you can see from instead of the generic email that you were basically stuck to using for about a year now which was info at dashboardnotifications.com we now have my email which is chad at dashbootcamp.com now if i have that email make sure that you put a reply to email it can be that same email if you have that email registered with your registrar company or whatever other email you want Basically, what's going to happen is when this person gets this email, the from email is going to show that it came from chat at dashbootcamp.com. And then when they reply to the email, that's going to go to whatever email you drop in here. That way, it's fully white labeled. You don't have this random email in here um, and everything is good to go. Another cool thing that you should um, just kind of keep in the back of your mind, if you have a team, 
right? And uh, uh, you have 10 members on your team inside of your dashboard. Every single member can now go into their profile. Once you've initiated the first domain verification, every user can go into their profile and add unlimited domains. If I want to come in here as an, again and say Sandy at whatever the domain name is, I can just add that. And now I'm able to send emails from Sandy at dashbootcamp.com, okay? Now, since this is also my profile, once again, I can only use this when I'm sending emails inside a dashboard. So another one of my teammates can't use my email, okay? Um, that's just a restriction that we did uh, to make sure kind of everything's coordinated inside of the dashboards properly. Also, another thing you should note is if you go back to branding, you can also add unlimited custom email domains. So as an example, maybe you have multiple domains that you're working with. Like this is dashbootcamp.com. I might want to have one that's dashclicks.com, right? So I'll just, once again, come in here, click add, add the domain name, and I'll just go through that process again, right? And that's really, it's that simple. So uh, hopefully this helps you uh, white label your emails. Super excited for you to be using this feature. And let us uh, know if you have any questions in our live chat support. Uh, we can help set this up for you and help you if you have any questions. Have a great day.